Hello, I'm Nathan Judo. I'm here with Walsall reporter Mr. Joe Edwards. Joe, Walsall won, Colchester United won. What did you make of that? Fair result? Yeah, a bit of a tale of two halves mm. um, to bring out an old footballing cliche. Uh, Walsall were dreadful oh. first half. Um, oh. Turgid, whatever you want to say. Um, I mean, we've just spoken to Michael Flynn, who's actually, you know, issued an apology to, to fans for that first half performance as it's the worst first half he's had um, while he's been here. And, and there's been some poor first half. Uh, uh, yeah, and described that. Um, opening goal as farcical mm. which it was I mean this was astonishing really it wasn't it, w it would have been would have been <laughs> harsh on Sunday league football to say yeah. that was Sunday league football it was that bad I mean you know your basics of football really uh, play to the whistle mm. um, and Walsall didn't do that um, it, w it was scratchy red stuff really I mean Aidan White has raised his hand appealing for an offside mm. which doesn't come and um Frank Nubla's let in. I mean, I think he must be, you know, he couldn't believe it himself, no, really. No. Um, Aubin Evans, the keeper, doesn't come didn't, off his line no, quick enough. Didn't, didn't do great either. No. And it was just a catalogue of errors, really. It was I mean, comic, the, comic, comic. It was comical because it wasn't even a convincing finish. I mean, no. it rolled over the line at a yeah. snail's pace. Yeah. Um, and that really, I mean, within two minutes that goal goes in, and mm. for the rest of the first half, Warsaw were completely rudderless, mm. just lacking any conviction, any ideas, just completely shot mm. of anything um, thankfully second half and the introduction of a, of a certain player mm. Um, mm. you know thankfully you know, gave him a bit of life and they got better yeah Maddox gave him life didn't he yeah. really good yeah. um, obviously made his debut and, and I thought I thought looked bright straight away you know got on the ball it wasn't just you know his movement and, it, and obviously you know kind of helped with that first goal as well the first goal for Warsaw of the evening but at the same time he was he was ready to take players on, and just his movement and the way that he shielded the ball, the way he had the ball at his feet, the way that he ran, you could tell that he's played at a decent standard. Yeah, I mean, we've always got to be careful not to overreg these players in their first games, but oh God, it was a marked difference from the first <laughs> start for the rest of them. Yeah, um, uh, Jacob Maddox, yeah, coming in as a, a free agent recently, uh, a bit of an interesting one really because he boasts real good pedigree. Mm. Won the FA Youth Cup twice with Chelsea, won the UEFA Youth Cup, won. The England um, under 17s championship or under 19s championship. So he's played mm. very good youth mm. standard. Had recently been at Vitoria Guimarães in Portugal. So, you know, he's got a bit of pedigree. Yeah. He's coming on a one year deal, and that 45 minutes mm. is, is very encouraging. Mm. Um, you know, turns with the ball, looks for a pass. And involved in the goal, um, must say I'm pleased for Tom Knowles to get off the mark. Um, he's been threatening to do so for a few weeks now. Um, you know, he's had a frustrating time of it, really, gone close and, and, you know, just kind of been missing chances he should have put away. Yeah. And then that one, really, oh. which was a bit of a half chance at mm. best. I mean, he runs for 40, 50 yards with it and then smashes it in the far corner. Lovely finish. One of the best goals I've seen down here for a while, to be honest. Yeah. It was a beautiful goal and really... Gave them impetus into the game, and look, after that, there was only going to be one winner in the game. Yeah, I mean, they um, they, they went close, Donovan Daniels towards mm. the end. I mean, Colchester still had one or two against the run of play, but, um, you know, you sense they were holding on, mm. really, Colchester a little bit, without Walsall putting them well under the cosh, mm. but... Yeah, it's um, it's, a, a, it's an opportunity. I mean, look, they've got yeah, to point, yeah. but they've got to be beating teams up. Colchester, if they're going to do anything this season, yeah. don't they? Yeah, they do. I mean, they don't want to sound too much doom and gloom, and obviously it is still early days. Mm. But you know, it is eight without a win now mm. in all competitions, and if Walsall want to be in that uh, promotion mix mm. um, or in a you know a mathematical shout to the playoffs, as mm. we've discussed previously, you've got to be beating these teams at home. Really, I mean, Colchester. Um, you know the third worst defensive record in the division mm. going into this game only won one of seven now only won one of eight mm. you know they're the teams that really on a Tuesday night here you want to be put into the sword so um, also the kind of yeah they're letting teams off the hook a little bit really at the minute through their own mistakes mm. their own shortcomings mm. really rather than teams just cutting them apart mm. with their quality so um, yeah obviously got to brush up on things they can't be conceding goals like they did no. in that first half again um, but they can take heart from that second half mm. performance, you know, because they've got a tough test coming up on Saturday mm. at, at the uh, at the league leader. Yeah, and like you say, look, Lane Orin looked fantastic at the moment, but it'd be just like Warsaw to go there and get a result, wouldn't it? Well, that's Warsaw for you, and you know, 
you're going to take crumbs of comfort. Look at Knowles' first goal. Mm. I think they've got a player there. Mm. He drives at defences. Um, he works hard. And you get the sense there he's got that first one. He might be off to the races a Man little bit. pushing for a start, would you say? I mean, if you can try and get an out of it, mm. an air out of him, yeah, just no, try yeah, and get yeah, it yeah. out of him from the start. Mm. You know, if he can influence the game from the beginning, I mean, he's, he's made an impact tonight. Mm. Um yeah, he'll be short of match fitness, but if you can squeeze an hour, squeeze an hour, I think yeah. it might be worth the risk. So um, we'll see what happens there. But um, yeah, at least a better second half and a bit of momentum from that. Warsaw 1, Colchester 1 for all the post-match reaction. Make sure you log on to expressandstar.com.